couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I'll show you how you can breathe new life into the same old basic chords like A minor, D minor, E minor, F, G, and the likes. Now, um, the idea behind this is that you can use open strings. And you know this because if you play A minor, you know you can open the second string and get a sus2. Same thing with D minor, you can open the E string. And you can also open the B string and get a really interesting D chord sound. Um, but that's rarely used. So this is kind of the thing I'm talking about. So for example, you all know this variation. And if you don't, then welcome to it. Um, there's uh, this variation of A minor that's being played around a lot and it's too bad that this is the only variation uh, that uses this uh, you know conceptual um, structure you have five and seven on strings three and four okay out of the bar chord you have five and seven on strings three and four and you can use strings one and two just open strings. And you have A minor. Okay, A minor add nine technically because you have the open second string, but it's still a minor chord. It's still A minor. And it works in most settings. Okay? The interesting thing is that you can do the same thing with D minor right here or D major, and this is rarely done, okay? You can take the D minor chord and use 6 and 7 on strings 2 and 3, and then you have the open E string and the open D string. Okay? It's the same idea as the A minor here, and you have D minor. D minor add 9 because you have the open E string. So immediately you get completely new expressions off of the same chords without even having to bar or anything like that. What about uh, D major? You can use 7 and 7 on strings 2 and 3 instead of 6 and 7. Okay? And you get a D at 9. If you take the C shape up to frets, you get an interesting D at 9 and it's also at 11 because of the open third string. Okay, you take C up to frets and this is widely used. But it's not the only option. You can do um, an F chord. Okay? This is rarely used. The C shape up to 8. So you have 6, 7, and 8. Okay, on strings 2, 4, and 5. And then you have F. Okay, this is F major 7. And two more frets up for a G chord but then you have the open E string and this is a G6 and a sixth chord is less neutral than a major 7 or an add 9 so just use it if you like it okay so immediately you can use all of this but what about the C chord itself you can just play 8 on the sixth string or just three on the fifth string with open strings one, two, and three. And or, okay? or eight on the sixth string, and then you can remain here. And then you have.
have C major 7. Um, if you don't want the major 7, just play 8 um, on the 5th string, on the, on the 2nd string as well. And you can also put 7 on the 5th string and then you have a kind of a G chord there, a uh, G shape. Just make sure you're not playing the D string, okay? Okay, a completely different sound for a C chord. Okay, and for this G chord, the C shape up on 10, you can add 10 on the E string. Same thing for F. Okay, with 8 on the E string. Just A minor, D minor, C, F, and G, and immediately it sounds good. Um, it, it, it sounds unique. Now, um, on F, I also open the second string. Okay, just, you know, if it fits, you can do it. Now, what about E minor? Put five and seven on strings four and five. Okay. If you want uh, E major, then you put six and seven. But then make sure you're not playing the third string because then you'd have this. Okay. But this, you know. Um, Sounds, uh, it doesn't have as much application as okay, this. Um. And now, if you want an add nine, you'd play four and seven on strings four and five, and then you'd have E minor add nine. four and two, okay, depending on the sound you want to get. to uh, destroy beautiful uh, harmonies with not so beautiful uh, harmonies. But um, that's just me. So uh, you take this information, take with it and do with it what you like. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons over here. Everything is for free, of course. If you want to give something back, I'd appreciate it. And I thank you in advance. There's a Patreon page. Uh, the description has the link to the Patreon page and I thank you for your generosity in advance. Whatever you want to give goes right back to Lick and Ref into making your own lessons and guitar education. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.